just some breaking news to bring you now from France. In the last hour, we have had President Macron naming a new French prime minister to take over from Elizabeth Bourne, who resigned. He is the current education minister, Gabriel Attal, who at 34 becomes the youngest prime minister in modern French history. He is also the first person in the post to be openly gay. He is a Macron loyalist and previously served uh, as the education minister, as I mentioned, causing controversy last year when he announced a ban on the abaya, the head covering worn by Muslim girls and women in schools. He'll now have the task of leading the French government into the European Parliament elections in June. Let's take you to Paris. We can join our correspondent there, Hugh Schofield. Hugh, uh, was this a decision that was expected? Was Mr. Attal one of the front runners? He was. Uh, I would say a week ago it would have been a surprise. Uh, since then, uh, the odds have narrowed considerably. And uh, by the by, yesterday, uh, all the speculation was that uh, it was going to be Gabriel Attal after other people close to to uh, Macron dropped out or didn't seem to be in the running anymore. There were there were hints emerging that it was going to be Gabriel Attal. Um, it, it's still a great story and it's still a an, an, very very interesting appointment. Um, because, as you say, he is so young. Um, there is the fact that he's, he's gay, not that that makes any difference at all, but that's interesting too. Um, but above all, I think what, what's interesting is how, what a similar kind of profile he has to Macron himself. Uh, I mean, this is a very young man who, like Macron, is wants to kind of break the codes of French politics, do things differently, was was clearly seduced by the Macron message back in 2016, 2017, and has been a, a loyalist um, to Macron throughout that period. In Parliament, where he was a, a newly elected MP, he was one of the hussars, uh, they call them, the, the sort of the, the, the soldiers who were out there defending Macron um, in, in his first term and in his, in his second term uh, with great panache. Um, uh, and he's, you know, even his, his enemies admit he's rather, rather brilliant, just as, as Macron was. Um, the question is, is that, is that enough? Uh, I mean, uh, the critics will say, well, he's great, but is he, what is there to him? What, what is there substance to him? Is, is he more than just a very handsome, dashing personality? What, what are his politics? And, and, and that, I think, remains uh, something of an open question and a particularly important one, as you say, at this time when um, French politics is getting very exciting and interesting. The European elections in a few months' time will probably lead to a big win for um, Marine Le Pen at her hard right. There's the Olympics and all that as well. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a challenge and it won't be enough just to have a very handsome way and, and a winning, charming, cogent manner of talking. So not necessarily any major political shift with this appointment, as you say, Hugh, because he is so close to President Macron. But how much do the two of them need to move on from the big story of last year, which was the sort of pension and immigration reform? Well, the, the, it's impossible to talk about change of policy because, of course, in France, you have this double-headed system where the, there are two executives and uh, it can shift a little here and there. But basically, it's the president that calls the shots and says what he wants his prime minister to do. What, what Macron wants Attal to do is not entirely clear. Uh, this has been the big criticism of the Macron second term, that it's been a, a, a term of drift, that it lost its centre purpose, that all that kind of positivism of the first term has gone. And we wait a little to find out what exactly Macron wants Atal to do. Um, they certainly want to move ahead from last year, though, where uh, there was constant trouble for poor Elizabeth Bourne, the outgoing prime minister, who, to give her her due, had to battle very, very hard to get through two very tough bits of legislation in a, in a parliament which has no majority for the, the government. Um, and that, that is going to be Atal's big problem as well, that there is no majority inbuilt for him and that whatever policy he decides to push through. Interesting days ahead then, Hugh. Thank you so much for joining us.